All right, well, I'm out of there. I was just talking to the guys that pulled up then. They're in the Discovery, and they come from Armadale, and they'd been here before. They were South American dudes, two blokes, a missus, and a kid. And uh, he said it's deeper on the other side. And I said, well, it's up to me knees, just here. And he said, oh, it'd be, it'd be waist deep on the other side. So just as well I didn't keep going, because, mate, mate, that would have been pretty gnarly. And there's big boulders in there. And he said he's done it before when it was a lot lower. And he looked and he goes, you might make it. And I went, might? Might's not good enough. I want to make it. I don't want to might make it. He's arm and an R and he goes, oh, you, where's you with friends or, you know, you got someone else to help you tow it out if you get stuck. And I'm thinking, I don't want to get stuck. So I said, oh, yeah. He said there's some other good camping spots up here, so that's where we'll be going. And they're going to fish. He's fishing there now. So, wow, what a freak out. What a freak out. So we're going across here now. This little river crossing, I can muster. But there you go. Wow, that that would have been that would have really scared me. That if I would have gone up there. Ooh, there's that packet of Tic Tacs again. What a bummer. The water was up. I couldn't get across, mate. Just as well the dude turned up, man, because I was going to go. See, look, you can camp here. Oh, that's pretty good. There's garbage bins. And he said he's camped here before, this guy. And he said the cows, the cows piss you off at night. He goes, they come out at night. And, uh walk around your camp and yeah so I'm going oh, I don't want cows walking around so he said go up here there's another there's another spot and then he's been along that track that I'm going to go back to so he's been around which is perfect day eh? educate yourself off someone else but he said yeah that other road he goes oh yeah that's a really good fire trail that one he goes You'll make it along there, there's creek crossings, there's one river, but he looked at it and he goes, oh, it's not like this, he said, you'll get across easy, so, that's good, that's what we want to hear, you get across easy. So there's that house. That's a bass lodge, now, there's bass in there, the guy just jumped straight out and got the fishing rod. And went in with his jeans on and shoes and everything. Just marched into the water. He reminded me of Dwayne. Just straight in there. So, anyway. So that was lucky. That was lucky. I ran into them. Because I was arming and arming. I saw that big logs, uh, big rocks. Oh no, if I get past those big rocks, it looks so good. Yeah. Get to the other side and it's up over the bonnet. You'd be shitting yourself. I've got no recovery gear, man. If I get stuck, you be fucked. <laughs> so that worked out good. Now, he said there's another spot 10 minutes up the road here, so it's 11.57, so it's 12 o'clock. So I can't muck around too long. I might end up driving right through, you know. Because I've got to start thinking camping real soon. You know? I want to get, remember it gets dark at 4.30. That was pretty good. George's Junction, pearl of a spot. I like it. Just uh, can't do it after rain. And he came this way. And he passed no one, he said. So that was 